So, I've got this one hive, and for whatever reason, the bees in this hive just go absolutely nuts. And I know there's, you know, I've seen hives where they do it way more than this, but for me, this is a lot. But they go nuts with the washboarding. And washboarding, for those of you that don't know, is just this back and forth movement. Um, they're just kind of not really accomplishing anything. They're just, they're, they're, touching the uh, the hive with their mouths and they're just going back and forth and I mean there's so many of them doing it and last I last I've studied I've read on this no one really knows why they do it uh, and maybe someone does know maybe I maybe I got incomplete information I don't know why they do it uh, sometimes I think that you know it's almost like the <laughs> maybe I shouldn't say this or maybe someone out there that works for the post office I work for the federal government so I can say this it's it's like someone who works for the federal government let's just say that instead of the post office it's like the Queen's around everybody look busy <laughs> because all of these bees could be out foraging actually accomplishing something they could be out collecting nectar collecting pollen but they're just looking busy it looks like they're cleaning that's why it's called washboarding but they're not cleaning um, they're just they're just looking busy. I mean, this is a lot of bees, and who knows how many more are doing it? You know, a little bit farther in that we can't see. But you know, it's like everybody look busy. That way, we don't have to fly out and forage and actually do some real work. Um, you know, because I look at these bees and I was like, how much? I mean, they could really be accomplishing something. They could really be bringing in some food if they weren't. You know. I want to say wasting time. I'm sure they have a purpose. I mean, nature doesn't do anything just because. So I'm sure there's a good reason for them to be doing this. I just, for the life of me, have no clue what it could be. Uh, I thought maybe they're they're laying down pheromones, but this hive does it 24/7. I've come out at night and they're still doing it. A lot of times at night the numbers are higher, and this whole front is covered. Just they all come out and they just back and forth back and forth just doing this motion so anyway um, just a quick video wanted to put it out there um, I know we've, we've mentioned washboarding in other, other videos but this particular hive is just getting more and more into it um, I mean they're, they're so packed in the opening that the ones that actually are working <laughs> The ones that are foraging almost can't get in. They have nowhere to land. They have to, you know, land on top of another bee and then kind of crawl their way in, squeezing in around everyone. Um, yeah, I'm from um, I'm from Louisiana, from the New Orleans area. So my um, my part of reference, my point of reference is it's, it's like uh, Bourbon Street on Mardi Gras. I mean, it's just it's just packed. You can't get through it. Um, but. It's, it's crazy. Uh, something else I could go over while we're here. It's kind of getting late in the day, so the foraging activity slowed down. That hive over there is still kind of busy. Um, they've got a little bit going on. But over here, one way to tell if you've got a good, healthy queen without opening a hive is to see if they're bringing in pollen. If they're bringing in pollen, that means that you have a laying queen because the pollen is used to feed the brood. And, hey, look, and look who just joined. Hey. Who's this? What's your name? Beekeeping with Benjamin. <laughs> Beekeeping with Benjamin. You caught me making a video without you. <laughs> I just wanted to do a quick video because I wanted to talk about this washboarding that's just going... Oh, dang. I know. It's just going crazy on this one... That's this This crazy. one hive. Uh, and then since we were here, I was telling them about, you know, how to tell if a hive is doing well and if they have a healthy laying queen without ever re even opening the box how can you do that how can you tell um well one way is to see if they're taking in pollen mm -hmm. why, which why would that mean they're doing well because that means if they're taking in a lot of pollen that means they have um a lot of brew to feed mm -hmm. and um um that means that they've got 
Just say hi. Hi. <laughs> Be nice. Okay, Sorry, keep going. Sorry, our neighbors. Um, <laughs> um, which means they have a lot of baby. If they're bringing a lot of pollen, that means they've got a lot of good. They've got a good a, a good amount of babies, which means they've got. <clears throat> excuse me. They've got a good. See, I just saw one going into that one with pollen. So that right. So that means um, we're getting. Uh, we got a good laying queen. And the bees communicate. Yeah. Um, you know the the. They, they communicate a lot by pheromones, and they also do their little dances. But um, uh, the the presence of larvae in the hive um, through pheromones signals that pollen needs to be brought in, because pollen is their food. That's that's what they pollen is actually the protein source that they use to to feed their young. So um, so. Anyway, that's one way without opening the hive, because every time you open the hive, you set, you set a colony back some. So you really don't want to open up a hive more than you need to. But if you see, you know, and you still kind of do need to open them, because you want to know to what extent the queen is laying, how she's doing, that Ooh, sort of thing. I just remembered something, Dad. Mm -hmm. Can I, look, we got new stickers. Yeah, do you want, let's go show them. Yeah. We actually have a name for our apiary now. Fleur de Lis apiary. <laughs> Fleur de Lis farms at the side. I had these made. I designed them myself. Yeah. I know it's kind of simple, but yeah, I did it. So it's a bee going to pollinate a Fleur de Lis. Um, uh, so it's Fleur de Lis apiaries. Uh, apiary, for those of you that don't know, is, is a bee farm. Yeah. And the, the bottom line says Fleur de Lis farms at Versailles. We're not at um, Versailles right now. We're not there yet. That's where our land is. Where we. Yeah. Where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna be. Where we're gonna build our house. We got a. So. We got like a hundred stickers, maybe. Yeah. So we're um, gonna put them on all of these. Yeah. And that's gonna be our new design for our hives. So, but you can see this is a pretty active hive right here. Yeah. And you can see I'm so far. <laughs> my colonies are growing so fast. These boxes that aren't painted. I had, some, I had a bunch. One just bumped into me. I think I, one landed on my hair. I had a bunch of um, hives donated to me by, um, or given to me by the son of, of, of a beekeeper that passed away. So anyway, thank goodness because I really needed them. And you can see I, I've put them back on. He hadn't painted them. I'm going to paint them eventually. But I'm, 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 things are growing so fast I'm having to just throw them on. And this winter I'm going to worry about painting everything and getting everything in order. But for right now, I'm just kind of trying to get through the summer. So, anyway. Beekeeping with Benjamin. Beekeeping with Benjamin. <laughs> One just tried to get me, got me on the nose. Uh, it didn't sting me, I got it off. So this is Fleur de Lis apiaries, beekeeping with Benjamin. They can't get and and the reason they're they're annoyed with me right now is because I'm right in their fly path. That's something you're not supposed to do. You shouldn't stay in the bees' fly oh, paths. Go, uh, and I was getting really close, so they they got annoyed with me. But anyway, Benjamin, um, is beekeeping hard? Nope, it's not hard at all. I'm gonna move over here. Beekeeping isn't hard at all. If you can see a kid doing it on the internet and not being scared about it, look at all those. Look at all those. Yes, we know <laughs> we have a lot of bees. Be nice. You can see a kid doing it on the internet. It can't be that hard, especially when it's just a kid that's just going into seventh grade. So what if what if people like our videos? What should they do? Um, if you if you really like our videos, um, please hit that subscribe button. It is down there, I believe, around that area. It's a big red button. Um, and if you've already subscribed, thank you. If you want more beekeeping content, once again, subscribe. Um, as soon as this channel hits 100 subscribers, I am starting my gaming channel, Gaming with Benjamin. <laughs> and I'm going to be doing Minecraft videos, um, some online games, and maybe even a couple videos with my friends. So. And, and Benjamin's on his own with that one because yeah. I don't know anything about gaming. But I encourage him to do so. Yeah. Um, so that way we have two channels flowing in the money. Uh, but that's not that's not why we're doing the videos. We are doing them for education purposes. Okay, maybe for the gaming. Maybe just okay. a little bit. Okay. All right. All right. Um, um, there was something else I wanted to say, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, oh. if you like the video, please leave a like. Um, the like button, the like buttons around down there, down there, mm -hmm. somewhere, somewhere over there. They'll find it. Yeah, you'll you'll find it. It's a little thumbs up. 
And what I wanted to say is, if if anyone is looking at our videos and kind of likes, I mean, there's a lot of folks out there doing beekeeping yeah. videos, and you know, there's some that we really like out there. Um, but if if you have any ideas or questions, or you know, if you want us to make a video on any particular topic, let us know. Leave us a message, and um, and we'll see if we can do it. Yeah. And um, by the way. If you're wondering why are all these bees flying around, um, aren't they orientating? They're orienting. Orienting. Because yeah. that sticker, we put it on just yesterday? Yeah. Or the day before? And so it kind of looks different up front, yeah. so they're still kind of... These are these are orientation flights. When yeah. they're just kind of flying around and kind of looking at everything before they go in, they're, they're programming their brains to recognize things. That sticker wasn't there yesterday. So they're like, whoa, whoa, okay, okay, let's see. Uh, there's this yellow bee, there's this thing. Uh, you know, Fleur de lis. Fleur de lis, I mean, yeah. And, you know, they just so. See, they just see it as. So, just, they, I mean, they're just kind of, you know, looking and, at it. And, and by the way. And trying um, to memorize exactly what it looks like so they'll recognize their hive when they come back. And also, um, eventually, um, at, our, at our farm, um, Fleur de lis farms. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and say it like that for every single video. Okay, keep going. Um, we are probably gonna do like a third channel, like maybe on other farm animals. Possibly, like, probably. Just not. We games. might just have one on farms. We might just yeah. merge all of them into this one. Yeah, except for gaming. That one's yeah. not. I try to get my other kids involved, but they're you know with doing videos, but they're not really interested. Benjamin's the, the talker. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Anyway, thank you folks. Uh, let us let us know if you have any ideas, if you want us to answer any questions, or if you want us to do a video on anything, um, if you, and if you, if you could, we'll be happy to do that. If you could, can you please share this with your friends on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, social media, Vine, maybe even, I don't okay. know. No, we're, um, we're trying to do that. Um, we're trying to hit 100 subscribers so I can start gaming with Benjamin. <laughs> thank you, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.